The opinions expressed in the following program are not necessarily those of Eastlink TV, its sponsors, or partners. Hey there, I'm Sean Barrett, and this is Northern Songs. Northern Songs is a show that puts a spotlight on local songwriters because if they don't receive the support, you know what, it gets a little bit harder to write their tunes and record them too. So what I'm hoping you're going to do is see an artist you like, get out and support them, go see a show, buy their disc, legally download their record, and just generally offer a little bit of support. These are people who are playing great music right in your backyard. And I am very pleased to be joined by Tommy Fife. How are you doing, man? I'm very well, Chad. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm really yeah. glad to have you here. Tom and I are uh, neighbors. Yeah. Neighbors. Uh, so, you know, it's not it's uh, not unusual for us to be this close. Um, but we don't often get to be on a TV show together talking about songwriting, do we? I think this is the first time. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so uh, tell me a little bit about uh, where did you get where did you get started? I've always wondered that. Like, I mean, how long ago did this happen for you? Well, I uh, took piano lessons as a kid, of course, and, mm -hmm. uh, and quit uh, at the end of grade eight mm -hmm. uh, in school, which was grade six piano, Yeah, uh, because uh, it wasn't a very cool thing to be doing at that time. And everybody told me that uh, I would regret it eventually, and which I did. I got to university and there were pianos in every hall and people playing them, and I was kind of out of touch with it. So mm -hmm. that and uh, I had Sonia Dunn for a teacher in grade four. Okay. So. Uh, she kind of made everybody sing and play acoustic guitars. So. Yeah, yeah. So, but when did you when did you pick up the electric guitar? I mean, that's your primary instrument, right? It's the electric guitar. Yeah, I'd say it's my primary instrument. I uh, I coached gymnastics for a living for twelve years, and uh, when I got out of coaching, uh, I was thirty one, and I decided, well, I should uh, learn how to play this thing properly. And mm -hmm. So. Uh, I was uh, on EI for a few months, and I decided to uh, just harass all my friends to teach me what they knew. And uh, there were lots of matinees to go to in town at the time, so mm -hmm. you know you could go to any one of a half dozen bars and get up and play with the band. So right, it was really good that way. But a fairly recent thing. I mean, like, you know what I mean. I mean, I, I started playing guitar when I was 34. Mm -hmm. You know, so um, you know we've had uh, some guys on here going like, you know, you know what, like 17 is kind of late to start. But yeah. I mean, you know, obviously you can you can get a, a, a good head of steam going even if you start a little bit later. Oh sure. When did you start writing your own tunes? Um, I think that the first song that I actually sort of wrote, but I wasn't really. Uh, I couldn't really play at the time. I wrote in around 1980, uh, around 1980. But uh, I wasn't really playing yet then. Mm -hmm. So um, I recorded uh, some tunes in uh, 1990 with, uh, with Paul Chapman, who's a superb guitar player. And uh, we basically, we, would, uh, we were playing in kind of uh, crossover country bands at the mm -hmm. time, different bands. And, uh, so we'd go out and play, and then uh, after the bar was done, which was like one o'clock at that time, uh, we'd go back uh, to my apartment and uh, had a four-track uh, recorder, and we'd start uh, laying tunes down. Uh, right on. And that's, uh, I guess, where we start. I started writing. I sort of uh, did get ahead of steam up. It was like a week for each of the first couple of songs, and mm -hmm. then eventually we were doing a song a night. Cool. You know, starting at one and hitting the sack at nine o'clock in the morning with one done, wow. you know, so yeah. it was pretty cool. Yeah. Right on. Um, we're going to talk a little bit more about the songwriting, but you're going to play a tune now. Is this one of your tunes? Yeah, this is uh, one of my uh, endeavors into a sort of R&B pop sort of uh, idea. I, I like to, uh, to go at as many different ideas and areas as I can. Cool. All right. Okay. Work hard all week, try to save a dime. Take my baby out and have a good time. Music is the medicine, yeah, yeah. Music is the medicine, yeah, yeah. Music is the medicine, I need a shot. I head on down to my favorite spot. Got my baby on my arm, the band is hot. Music is the medicine, yeah, yeah. Music is the medicine, yeah, yeah. Music is the medicine, mm, I need a shot. Yeah. 
Take it up off that couch, clean yourself up. Go on down to the club and tell them to turn it up. Cause music is the medicine, yeah, yeah. Music is the medicine, yeah, yeah. Music is the medicine, mm, I need a shot. It's a great tune, man. Oh, thanks a lot. I love that one. That's a lot of fun. That's, uh, as I mean, you know what? That must get him up dancing whenever you play it. Well, I actually, haven't, we haven't played that one yet. Uh, no? It's going to be on the next CD, and uh, I've done it once with Stephanie at a gig we did in North Bay a few months mm -hmm. ago, but, uh, and it did get people dancing. But, yeah, uh, uh, and when you say Stephanie, Stephanie Fife, who's also yes. another fantastic songwriter who's uh, going to have to be on next season for sure. Yeah, for sure. She's and uh, and you, guys, you guys play together a lot. That's really cool, man. Yeah, we have a little duo called uh, The Travel and Medicine Show with okay. the Fife side. I play a kick drum and hi-hats and guitar and harmonica, and mm -hmm. she plays uh, piano or guitar. Right on. And we do a lot of harmonizing, and uh, we have a lot of fun. Cover that a lot is a lot of fun. You know? yeah. I play with my dad, too, and it's, yeah, uh, exactly. it's really cool. So let, let's, uh, let's you know, fast forward. We were talking about you know, 1990 and recording on a four-track. Now, since then, obviously, you've done other recording, mm -hmm. and now you're, just, you're saying you're, you're going in soon. So let's talk a little bit about what you've got coming up. Like, you know, what's, you've, you've, uh, you've written the record? Or you, uh, well, I, I, yeah, I have enough tunes for another CD. Um, and this one I want to be, I want it to be sort of a live off the floor with the whole band. Mm -hmm. Everything. The last CD I did, uh, I played uh, all the instruments and uh, did it down at Cosmic Taves. And uh, it was mainly an acoustic blues type of CD. Okay. Uh, where I covered some uh, very old standards from different areas of blues and then uh, originals that I wrote for mm -hmm. that record. And... Uh, and now, now I'd like to do one with uh, sort of more uh, jump blues and up-tempo blues uh, uh, with the whole band. Mm -hmm. And in the band, we've got some very experienced players, uh, um, and it's drums, bass, keyboards, and guitar. And then Stephanie uh, joins us often, and so we'll be having her do some, a lot of harmonies and maybe singing a song or two. Right on. Are you, uh, as far as the plans go for where you're going to record, are you doing it locally again? Are you going to get um, any ideas? I'm not, I haven't uh, come to a firm decision about that yet. Yeah. I've well, had some offers to, uh, to go to, to Metalworks and record yeah. there, and uh, uh, been offered a good deal there. And then uh, a fellow that my older, oldest daughter is dating, uh, named Chuck Coles, has a band called um, Organ Thieves, and they've uh, done a lot of recording. And uh, He's roommates with a, a, a top-notch manager and producer, so really? I'm I'm really thinking that he offered to to get me a great deal if I go and work there too. So well, sure, you know, you have, have to take a look out. around. I mean, there's yeah. there's a lot of there's a lot of ways to skin this cat now, right? I mean, mm -hmm. you know, back back you know in the day, like you said, four-track tape player and stuff like that. It was a really big production to to record a record. Sure, and you know, these days there's a lot of options out there. Oh yeah, I mean. You know? You can get excellent recording programs on your computer, as you know, and absolutely, uh, and do well. You can record a whole record in your in your bedroom if you wanted to. But yeah, but I really like, especially with blues, to have the feel of the whole band. Yeah, it's not as much fun if you're recording in your bedroom. Yeah, right on. Listen, Tommy, thank you so much for coming. Thanks in, for having me, Sean. All right, take it easy. You too. <laughs> 